Oh hey, how's it going everybody? Today's video is sponsored by Hardline Products. So we've got a very awesome tool that we're checking out, reviewing, and gonna be putting to work today. So let's get right into it. Let's get the box opened up and see what we got. How do you like that? That was good. Was it? Yeah, so Maybe. professional. Uh, like, this video is sponsored. Boom, what do we have here? Right off the bat, we have a whole Power Sports Accessories Buyer Guide. That's pretty cool. And this is what we're excited about here. We have the Tread Doctor. This is what we're gonna be testing out. And they also sent out an hour meter. How nice of them. Very cool. And we got stickers too. So, as you know, with riding dirt bikes, tires are everything. Having a fresh set of tires makes all the difference in the world. Doesn't matter what bike you're on, if you have a crappy set of worn out tires, it's not gonna perform well. If you're like me and you don't wanna spend a lot of money, there are some alternative options, just like what we have here. This is called the Tread Doctor. Now, I'm familiar with this idea before from off-roading and bigger four-wheel drive vehicles. Sometimes they use different kinds of irons to cut down tires to maximize the tread or change the pattern altogether. But the idea of the Tread Doctor is you can maintain that sharp edge on the knobbies. That's what we're gonna try to do today. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. This looks like a stand right here. This tip is sharp. I mean, this razor sharp, and you can sharpen this, and you should sharpen it after use. But be careful, because this is gonna get hot. That's the whole idea. It's like a soldering iron. This is gonna heat up. So they recommend about a 20 minute warm up time. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and maybe it'll take a little bit less. We'll figure it out. And we wait. Where should we put the hard line sticker? Oh man, it's a pretty oh, big sticker. We'll put one of the small ones on the box here. Perfect. Shout out to hard line. Let's do a big one too. I like it right there. I do too. Represent. Woo, we got smoke coming over here. Check it Woo! out, we're smoking. Shut it down. <laughs> I think she's hot. So as tires wear out, they start to get rounded off and that is not good for traction. So the idea of this tool is you can actually get in there, scoop out the rounded portion and make it a 90 degree angle again which in turn will give you more life out of the tire and pretty much take it back to the new condition. So probably would help to clean the tire too. Wow. She's gotta heat up more, folks. Looks better already. Clean chain. Yeah, buddy. Get some of that residual double WD 40. WD 40. WD 40. WD 40. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I've never said it like that. WD 40. That's WD 40. <laughs> WD 40 is actually a really good cleaner. I use it pretty much as like an all purpose cleaner. Oh, but WD does not sponsor this video, so back to the Hardline products. <laughs> All right, it's been about 15 minutes, I'd say now. Let's give her a try. The bigger the knob, the harder it's gonna be, so you kinda wanna split the center knob up into two sections. I'll go ahead and start off with one of these side knobs just to demonstrate. So right here where the top of this knob is rounded off, you wanna come back here, and that's where you wanna put your iron. Give it a little bit of pressure, boom. Then you wanna get down and scoop, and just like that, Check that out. That is like having a fresh tire. You get that nice 90 degree edge that's gonna grip all kinds of dirt. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate the center one as well, which is a lot harder. I wouldn't say a lot, but it's just a learned thing. And you don't wanna be using too much force because you're gonna wear your hands out. So just divide the uh, this center knob into two halves. And you're gonna come down here with this first half. Get in there, boom. Get in there, boom, scoop that out of there. And man, that is 
night and day difference. You can feel it with your fingers, how if you go on one of these, it just rolls right off, but it catches real hard on that 90. It's just like having a fresh tire. The biggest thing is just to not fight the tool. Take your time, let the melting do its thing. Smaller sections is best. Just take little bites, just like when you're spooning tires. This is also a Dunlop Geomax AT87, if you were curious. That's a decently soft tire. I think this would be a lot easier on cheater tires. All right, so we're about 10 minutes into this tire and it's definitely not as easy as I expected. There is a technique though, and I'll show you right here what's been helping me out because my hand was starting to get a little sore and I was just plowing through this tire, but it seems to help the more that you kind of just rock the tool back and forth. So you kind of just, once you slide and it actually uses the blade to start cutting, and then you just do that, and then you kind of just take your time with that and it'll pop right off. But um. That seems to be the best option. It's the least pressure on your hand because my hand was literally starting to get really sore. So kind of use that sliding back and forth motion. I already burned myself. Probably recommended to wear gloves while doing this. But that seems to be working for me is just to use the edge and kind of just seesaw your way back down the knobby. I'm gonna get back to this. I will check back in once it's done. Well, we got all of these three middle treads cut. I'm happy with the end result. It's definitely gonna make it perform like a new tire again. Even if you're at 95% performance over the original tire, that's a big difference. So overall, this is a nice tool if you wanna save some money. I think the way they put it is you can pretty much get three tires out of one tire by using this tool, which I can definitely see that. It's all about having that fresh edge and as soon as it gets rounded off like that, it just does not perform as well. So you can do this. I probably could do this another time, but I actually, noticed a tear in this tire. So I think I'm gonna replace it after this weekend or maybe after next weekend to see how it performs. That probably took me about 30 minutes to do that. And you can't complain not having to spend the money for a new tire. So a pretty neat idea and I look forward to using it for years to come. The link to this product will be down in the description below. And here in a little bit, we will be installing an hour meter. So stay tuned for that video. Well, it's finally time. We're gonna go ahead and change out the gear oil. I have no idea when the last time this was done, so better safe than sorry. I will not be running KTM's Mama Motor X. I will get into that here in a second. But you have to take the skid plate off. I think it's just these two bolts, so not as bad as I was thinking. Boom. You got your drain bolt down here. Oh, she's about to go. Oh. What a good idea. Let's just dump oil all over the frame. Good rust preventative. I don't know if you can see this right here, but it's magnetic on the end, and man, we got some sludge on here. Ooh. So this bike does not have a dipstick or a sight glass. It has this level bolt right here, which you undo. And when it starts to drip out of here, you are all good. But you wanna make sure that the bike is level. So here in a second, I'm gonna put it up on a stand and go ahead and get rid of this oil pan so I don't drop the bolt down in there. And actually, we'll go ahead and put the skid plate on while we're at it, might as well. All right, now that it's on a stand, we're gonna go ahead and fill her up. We have a package to open up. Holy crap. Oh! Woo, doggy. We got a whole box of AMS oil. So this is what I'm choosing to run all across the board. This stuff is almost half the price and it's arguably better quality. And in this guy over here, we have nothing but Dominator. So we're gonna be stacked for a while. 
Ooh, this stuff smells good. That is all. Starting to leak out there. Perfect. Good to go. Ready for the weekend, man. Now, there's a lot of reports of people stripping these out. So I'm just gonna hand tighten it with this. Put my oil fill plug back in there. And I feel confident running that stuff, so. Unless Motor X wants to sponsor me, that's what I'm gonna run. It's the next afternoon now, but there is one more thing that I wanna do before ending out this video. So as you guys just saw, we picked up this mint condition KDX 200 for my dad, and it does have a tachometer, but it has no way to track the hours. So this will work with any of your dirt bikes or motorcycles for that matter. This unit has a battery in it that'll last about 10 years, and this specific unit is non-erasable. They do make a version that is erasable, but this is a good way to keep track of maintenance. So there's only one wire that you have to deal with, and this is the pickup wire. And what this does is sense when the motorcycle is turned on, some of these work on vibration, but I've heard that these are a little bit more reliable. For the two-stroke, all we have to do is wrap it around the plug wire. It's got instructions for everything else, but let's go ahead and open this up and install it on the KDX. So you can cut this wire to the desired length. This just needs to go through the back here, push it into its home there, and then you can pull this thing tight. And this comes with a few mounting screws. I, myself, I will probably just 3M tape it. I'm gonna go ahead and route the wire through this bracket here for the radiator. Kind of worked out good. So we're gonna see how that holds up over time. I think it'll last. Boom, we have full clearance. And just like that, we are all done. I'm gonna go ahead and put the spark plug boot back on and we're gonna go test this thing out. It's got approximately 15 hours on here, so we will account for that. We have to do an oil change on this bike. Actually, you know what? Let's just get it done and do it now. Now that we got her warmed up, it is time to drain the oil. For all I know, this could be the original oil, so I'm happy to get it out of here and get some fresh in there. Oh wow, that stuff looks really good. I don't know, a little bit of break-in uh, clutch material in there, so maybe this is the original oil. That is nuts. And this also takes 0.7 liters. And as you guys know, we got that. You never want to get it too tight, just hand tight. And boom, we are ready to fill. Get the fill plug out of there. Perfect. Now we need to add four and a quarter liters out of here. Got a sight glass right there to use. I'm gonna call that good right there. Perfect. So I just took the KDX out for a rip. Everything checks out with the hour meter. I put 0.2 hours on it, so we're good to go, hooked it up correctly, so you guys will have to stay tuned for the first ride on the KDX 200. I absolutely love this bike. 
So far, I'm really impressed with the Hardline products. Once again, the tire cutting tool and the hour meter will be linked down below. If you'd like to try either of those items out, they definitely have my approval. Like I said, I look forward to using that tire tool for years to come. It's definitely gonna save me a lot of money and you know I'm all about saving money. <laughs> but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It definitely felt good to change it up, get back into the shop, work on some things. But if you're just here for the trail riding videos, don't worry, they'll be back very soon. So please leave your comments down below, hit the like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, consider turning those notifications on so you get notified every time that I post a video. But we're still doing dailies, so until tomorrow's video, we'll see you then.